So hi, um, I want to present a very simple exercise today uh, to improve the clarity and intonation of your high notes, you know, in the high end. Uh, this is a very simple exercise, but because it's simple, um, don't mistrust it as being ineffective. In fact, the most effective things are very simple things. And what we're first going to do is we're going to start in the middle C, and we're just going to play octaves, you know, from middle C to high C, middle C sharp to high C sharp. sharp. Of course, you can do it up to F if your horn, you know, depending on what make and model of your horn is, you might have just F or F, you know, up to F sharp. You can even extend this into the autismal range, but I advise you not to do that just yet. I mean, so, uh, main thing here, as always, uh, if I um, instructed in my other videos, you want to keep a constant embouchure while you're doing this. You don't want to start changing and start pinching or anything like that just to get the high note. You should be able to uh, keep an embouchure as though you're playing middle C the whole time. So one embouchure for the whole horn. And also you want to make sure that the volume of your high notes are still the same volume as the notes you started out with. You don't want to start playing soft for up in a higher register because that's just an indication that you know, you're closing up, you're putting pressure here, and you don't want to do that. You want to let the notes sing out. So um, the second exercise is I'm going to start doing two octaves, so you know, low C to middle C to high C, and going up chromatically up there sharp, you know, as I've done before. The next exercise is that um, I'm going to be adding the fifth into the mix, so that means you're going to play the low C, then G, then middle C, then high G, then the high C after that. And doing the same thing, uh, doing um, now tonic, fifth, tonic, fifth, tonic, chromatically from C up to high F sharp. <laughs> when they try this exercise, or let's say for those who really have a difficulty getting out the high F sharp clearly, usually by this third exercise, all of a sudden they notice that the high F sharp speaks clearer than they've ever played it before. Reason for that is that uh, using this combination of the, the dom of playing the, the, the fifth in the middle, this also you know uh, trains your ear to hear the note that should be coming up next. And um, basically with anything, if you can hear the next note before you play it, then uh, then there's more chances of playing that note accurately and within intonation, you know, within good tuning, within a good sound. So it's just you know the idea of knowing how it sounds before you play it. And this uh, last exercise of the series, uh, this 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 the, the series here is that what I'm doing now. I'm playing uh, triads, you know, just uh, four of them. Right into it, so I'm playing. I'm now playing C, then the fifth G, then the third E, then the tonic C, then the fifth G, then the third E, then the tonic C, 
then the fifth G, then the third E, then the tonic C, then the fifth G, then the third E, then the tonic. And it was like pretty confusing. What are you talking about here? I'll play it for you. <laughs> understand um, what I'm getting at when doing it, uh, what I'm doing there now a reason why I've added like this uh, that you're actually your highest note I mean you're ending not on your highest note in the series is just that this way this uh, helps you kind of like prevent playing the highest note too sharp because you know the next tone following it is a lower tone you know and basically um, uh, major thirds like I said those who are you know musically trained if, if you do it Major thirds, we have a tendency to hear them a little bit flatter than they actually are. And so, um, and so with that in mind, uh, this exercise helps us not to play the highest tones too sharp. In fact, it helps us train the ear that we just bring it down just a little bit uh, in order to get the intonation correct. So again, the same exercise on D flat, try it. <laughs> I was going to play four triads, and actually that's just three, but I'll play the fourth one just, just for you guys. So I just an autismo G out of there. So that's all for today. Basically, tip and of course, with all exercises, have to deal with tone and 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 technique. You know, with actually all exercises, please just have patience and listen because music is an art of um, tones, which is actually which means we enjoy it through the ears first, the ears first, and then the set the other senses come afterwards. Ears first, then the mind. <laughs> you know, or ears first, then the heart, then the mind. However, you chose to choose to look at it. But in any case, you know, music is about the ears first. You know? And so um, then everything else is secondary. So have patience. Okay, till the next time.